Hey guys, it's Joe, and um, I'd like to talk to you in the light, but my light bulb keeps going on and off. Um, so, I guess that I. Oh. I, mm. Don't I look dashing? In other news, I have slept in till like 12 o'clock today, so I am literally the most laziest person in the world. But what better thing to do on Labor Day than to not labor? Hello! It's my grandma again. She's all telling me about how I have a house to myself now. To play pure pretty music. Mm-hmm. And to sing your heart out. Ah. That's right. Great and Danny, do you want to be in my vlog? Oh. Yeah, and that's why I haven't shown her you yet, but it will happen sometime. One day she, you'll sure catch her. Huh. Oh yeah. Well, I'm not gonna put anyone on my vlog that doesn't want to be on it. Bye. I just got my printer installed, and then I realized I have no paper. Um. So it's basically useless. So I'm gonna have to go find some. And it's making me really, really sad. I was thinking to myself today about how I think that Labor Day is really stupid, and this is why. Um, today is a day that was created so that we could celebrate the strides that workers have made towards just better conditions and, like, unions and things. Once the government has created this holiday for us to celebrate and observe there is a great number of people that still seem to be working today and I feel like these people a lot of them just need to not be working on a day that was made for like hard workers to not be working a few people that come to mind that are working today people at McDonald's and fast food chains because we all need to eat, apparently. People on retail, because we can't go a day without buying things. Civil workers, not civil workers, but like firefighters and policemen, um, which I can understand this one. Performers, because they always are working and people need to have entertainment. People who are not working, CEOs, people that will have desk jobs, students, teachers. Oh, except for I'm going to take students out because I a lot of students are working. Teachers are not working. They just say, work over the weekend because you have a longer one now. What else that you can think of that just is really stupid to be working? Oh, hotel staff because those poor janitors who have to clean rooms. On that note, I'm going to go to a restaurant and go have some food. I think I'm going to go out and shop and like buy some shirts and things. So... Um, I'll probably also go check into a hotel and commit some crimes. Yep. Okay, um, turn it on. It is on. Oh. Sorry, right now. Hi, guys. This is my grandfather. I call him Gramps. That's not Russian for anything. Among other things. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, <laughs> anyways. Okay. Here's my grandpa. He's visiting us in... Pocatello. Pocatello. And here he is. Actually, I'm picking up Baba, who's been over here. Who I think was on, wasn't she? Yeah, she was on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, he's awesome as well. All my family is pretty much awesome. Hi. I'm waiting outside the Thrust Theater for my audition. And Kyle came with me and drove me because he's a nice friend. Yeah, no, I got it. 
I just got a notice that Community Channel just um, uploaded a new video, and I'm really excited, so I'm going to watch that later. Hey guys, I just got out of my audition, and I am shaking. Fine. I did that monologue from the Glass Menagerie, and I did it like normal, like he was yelling at his mother, and then I did it um, where I was a little bit more timid, because that's how he wanted me, and then he had me do it as a... Um, a pervert, and yeah, I don't. You know, everyone at school always said, "Oh, Joe, you're just you get up on stage and do things so easily," and I'm just like, "Yeah, okay," but I think it's just because I'm super comfortable, like at school and at theater and things. So, but. It's my first audition in a place that I've only been at a week, so it's kind of different. But, I made some people laugh when I was a pervert, so... I don't know if that's a good thing. I'm not sure either. <laughs> Kyle was really nice and drove me, because... <sighs> he's a good friend. Yay. Um, I will talk to you guys later tonight, I guess. Bye. So, my light was on a moment ago, and now it's not. So, I guess I will just call it a night and say hasta la vista. And I'm going to go to bed because I have class in the morning. Makeup, I don't really remember what we were doing, but I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Comment, film, and subscribe!